Okay. So now we got to say goodbye to an amazing human being. So um, this past Wednesday, March 14th, um, 2018, Stephen Hawking had passed away. Um, if you don't know who Stephen Hawking is, I don't know who, how the hell you don't know him. He's just the greatest mind. Uh, he was the greatest mind, excuse me, uh, on the goddamn planet. Um, he was an, an English theoretical physicist, cosmologist, and director of research at the Center for Theoretical Cosmology within the University of Cambridge. He was also an absolutely amazing author. In fact, um, he, his number one book, A Brief History of Time, sold... 10 million copies within the past 20 years. Yes, 10 million copies. In the brief history of time, I listened to it over Audible. Um, phenomenal book, but it's basically a textbook. And it's a textbook in the most beautiful way, right? Uh, he's just, he, he's an absolute genius. He was an absolute genius. Um, and and the, the, he changed the way science is done today. Like, factually, though. Actually. Like, it's not... He, Stephen Hawking is a goddamn uh, hero, all right? So he died Wednesday at the age of 76, um, and uh, Hawking lived the majority of his life, 55 years to be exact, with ALS. Um, so uh, he was diagnosed in 1963 when he was just 21 years old, and he survived 55 years with the incurable disease. Um, and Dr. Jeffrey Elliott said, and this is the reason I'm adding it to the nursing news lineup today, because it's... Because the l reason he lived so long and the majority of people who do have ALS don't live as long is because of the care he did had. And largely, to be fair, to be fair, a large part of the care that he received was because he had the money, because he was famous, because he was very well known. That's a large part of it. But I just want to add this um, little bit of you know, just just so we know the situation. So, Dr. Jeffrey Elliott, Chief of the Neuromuscular Disorder Section at the University of Texas Southwestern Medical Center, said, I think part of his longevity may have been because he had a slow progressive form. Probably it was also due to the exclusive nursing and medical care that he received. Continuing on to say survival really depends on the type of medica medical and nursing care that someone receives. Um, and Hawking received, he had to receive round-the-clock care basically from like a year after he was diagnosed or two years after he was diagnosed. So he had to receive round-the-clock medical care. And at first it was his wife that was doing the majority of the care. Um, but then it switched over to a team of nurses. <clears throat> um, I keep talking about nurses. And this is not... This, this, this section is an ode to Stephen Hawking. This is me saying I absolutely adore the man. I think he's an American hero. I th American hero. I think he's an he, he is a hero. He is a superstar. He's one of the smartest human beings that has ever lived. We could all hope to be the man, um, the human being that Stephen Hawking was. The reason I'm talking about nurses about this is not to toot my own horns, not to say, oh, go nurses. No, 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 no. What I'm trying to say is, this is an example of someone that has lived a very long and successful life um, with a very chronic and horrendous, horrendous condition. I, I'm pretty sure the average length of life, uh, the average length someone lives after they've been diagnosed is 20 years, and that's like, you know, on the high end, but um, 55 years, almost doubled it. Uh, did more than double it, did more than double it. I'm just saying... Obviously, not everyone on the planet that is diagnosed with ALS has that kind of money, has that kind of fame. But this is the goal. This is what we want for all of our patients, right? This is what we want for all of our patients. And just to end this segment, I just want to um, give you one of my favorite quotes of his. And when he was just talking about life in general, and I absolutely love this, love this quote. One, remember to look up at the stars and not down at your feet. Two, never give up work where it gives you meaning and purpose and life is empty without it. Three, if you're all lucky enough to find love, remember it is there and don't throw it away. I mean, the man was a genius. The man's an author. The man's a poet. The man, Stephen Hawking, you will be missed. My God, rest in peace. Uh, thank you. Thank you for everything that you have done, literally for humanity. And I can comfortably say that. I can comfortably say that.